All right, aloha. Welcome back to uh, my day five review of the Master Cleanse. And I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm feeling awesome this morning. I'm feeling awesome. Other than feeling a little bit dehydrated and uh, super spongy, cottony mouth tongue when I wake up, I'm feeling really good. Uh, this is the first day where I'm actually doing my review in the morning, the day after my cleanse. So you're going to start getting a lot more info about my experiences from here on out. I think the toughest part uh, about this weekend, today's Sunday, uh, but the toughest part about Friday and Saturday is that I'm used to going out and uh, hanging out and going out to dinner and socializing and taking my girlfriend out dancing and I just wasn't able to do that so I ended up actually building puzzles with her at Saturday night and uh, I she's such a trooper for doing this because I it's easy for guys to be solitary I think it's really easy for or me anyways it's really easy for me to be solitary and I've sacrificed a lot in my life uh, building my businesses where I wouldn't go out on the weekends and I actually you know transformed my entire life and I stopped hanging out with people that you know weren't passionate about the same things that I was not, I, would, I shouldn't say that but weren't necessarily supportive I guess you could say um, people that were going a different direction in life which you know I love everybody all of my friends have always been my greatest teachers so uh, but it was that was the hardest part I I find that if I don't drink my drink if I am going in a store or something for long spurts uh, shopping or doing something like that uh, that I will actually tend to start to get a headache and that happened to me last night so I went to bed with a headache Whew. but um, had some really awesome dreams last night um, I don't really remember what they were but I think they're about the future that's always fun so what what I'm doing right now is uh, I've my friends Chris and Jen from Maui Kombucha God bless them they are such beautiful people and they are such green thumbs uh, they've been encouraging us uh, this property that we've rented is uh, it's it's land that needs work. This used to be an entire garden right here. You can see that's an avocado tree and then we've got two mango trees, a coconut tree, that's a tangerine tree right there. We've got breadfruit. I'm gonna show you guys this breadfruit uh, because this stuff is awesome and I, I think that it only grows in the South Pacific. I'm not positive but probably there's a rotten brown one on the left. Those things are such a pain in the ass to cut down and eat, but they are good. They're good. And uh, let's see, we've got grapefruit. We've got a bunch of lemon, lime trees, a bunch of citrus all over the property. But it's just like, you know, it's, nobody was here to take care of it. And uh, the, our landlord that owns the land, God bless him, he's, he put so much work into this. But he has two houses on the property. So we actually have been working on our soil a little bit. We put some EM Bakashi. Not sure what that is, um, but you can ask my friend Chris <laughs> into our soil. And I'm just turning it over today, and I actually bought some compost. And as I, as we worked it, um, some arugula began. This is all arugula. This just began to come up. This is a weed right here. This began to come up. So, mm. and the arugula here uh, that grows in Maui is just super spicy to me. Super spicy. And we got some rosemary and some other stuff growing over there. So I'm excited. I really want to cultivate this whole property um, because I believe that you're given, you know, land and, and places to live like this for a reason and, and not just to let it be. And uh, if I was selfish, I would say, well, I don't own it, so I'm not going to work on it, but I don't really care because uh, i got some bananas too. I feel that uh, I believe in karma and I believe that when we do good things as people, when we help people out, um, that we're always repaid in abundance. And I know that, that the guy that owns this property loves this place. Maverick, come here. My dog, Mav. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Um, let's see, I weighed myself yesterday. I think I've lost about seven pounds. So far, I'm down to about 172. My target weight, usually I like to stay at, is around 165. And I'm gonna begin practicing yoga again today. So let me show you some of the things I picked up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, I got um, a couple different batches of lettuce and uh, I got some tomatoes and then I've got some watermelons and I've got some strawberries and uh, 
really excited, really excited to grow my own food. I cannot even tell you. I, food is my biggest expense um, because I don't really need anything other than to survive and just continue to do what I do. But yeah, food is definitely uh, my biggest expense and I could definitely put that money towards other things. And uh, I, did, I opted out of doing the butt bath so far this morning because I had some juice uh, left over from last night. So we're not going to do that, but I will show you take you into the Zen zone here. And these are the sweet puzzles that we made last night. This is uh, for, for dorks only right here. We've got a castle and some crazy flowers and some little alien dudes and this a wizard. And these are dragons and like a sorcerer or something. So that's what the cool people are doing. All right, so day five went uh, awesome. And uh, I'm excited about today, day six, and 24 days to go. And uh, I am just found a whole new appreciation for food. I do this every time I do this. I, I develop a new awareness for food. And one of the things that I realize is that when you just kind of just eat in a hurry and you're not really taking the time to eat your meal and be grateful for it and digest it, that it's not necessarily going to nourish your body uh, as best it could. So I really want to take some more time to prepare my meals. Um, I love cooking. I love I love learning new skills in all different areas of my life. So, and I love to cook. So I'm going to start doing that a little bit more, printing out recipes and going to the store when I go to the store consciously instead of with my belly saying mm, I want that, I want that, I want that. So, pretty excited about that. And I think that I, I want to teach you guys how to make the brew pretty soon because I know that. Uh, a lot of people have started doing this because of these videos, but you may not know the instructions. Um, again, you can pick up the book, The Master Cleanser by Stanley Burroughs. But I am going to teach people how to make it. So that's it for uh, my day five review. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the weekend and aloha.